go to 11 tonight. Parents voice their concerns tonight when it comes to the size of their child's classroom. Fifth grade classrooms in Portsmouth are very close to reaching maximum capacity, and parents are now demanding action sooner than later. I would assume reporter Shante Lance is live in Portsmouth now with the East Bay Mobile Newsroom. Mike, I spoke with seven concerned parents in this town hall parking lot. They say they're mainly worried about their child's classroom size. About a half a dozen parents of rising Portsmouth Middle School fifth graders attend the town school committee meeting about the classroom size nearing the maximum of 26 students. We all know large class sizes are not good for our children, nor is it good for our teachers. Margie Brennan's son will start middle school on Thursday. She and other parents tell us they want an eighth classroom teacher added. But school committee chairwoman Terry Cordman says the board wasn't able to consider or address the parents' requests because it was not on the agenda. Cordman says when it comes to classroom sizes each year, they wait. We have a military contingency, and as the superintendent stated, um, on the first day of school, sometimes we actually see a drop of what our projected enrollment is going to be versus the kids that actually show up. So we would like to see who shows up. The fact that they're banking on that and not taking into consideration the military family, the community that moves into our community, knowing that that's going to tip us over. It just doesn't make any sense. Kirsten Casey also has a son who is a rising fifth grader. We want to make sure it's a great experience for all of our kids. It's a big deal for these kids and these families who place their trust in the school department. You know, we just want to be proactive versus, you know, reactive. And school officials say they will not take make any changes until full attendance is taken after October 1st. Reporting live in Portsmouth with the East Bay Mobile Newsroom, Shantae Lands. Eyewitness News.